There's over 20,000 bridges in the state of Minnesota. We have some bridges that are on the historic register, and so they're, they're very old, hundreds of years old. We have a large bubble of interstate bridges that are probably 60 years old that are aging, and we have to figure out a good way to effectively manage all of those structures. You hope it doesn't fall down. <laughs> Like that one did. Yeah, 10,000 lakes. You already know. You gotta have them bridges. So, this is a Sensefly Albers drone. So, this is an inspection specific drone. So it has some features for inspection that are um, unique. Uh, the first being that the camera can look straight up and straight down. So we, when we get underneath bridges, we can see the bottom of the deck. Uh, another feature is that it can fly without GPS. So if we get underneath a bridge and lose GPS, we can still fly it. The controller that we use to fly the drone is a, literally an Xbox controller. They wanted it to be something that was familiar to everybody and something that everybody could fly. The younger engineers are, who have played games like that uh, definitely pick it up pretty fast. We can fly an entire bridge. Um, the drone takes photographs and it, it stitches those photos into a 3D model. It basically creates like a 3D photo log of the bridge. So if we want to go back and reference uh, at a later date, you know, maybe what a certain component looked like, we could just click on that component and it'll show us the eight or ten pictures that it took of it during the last inspection, which is really useful in, in being able to determine like deterioration rates and that type of thing. So if I click on this little drain pipe, it'll show me all those images. Well, this drone is the uh, Elios by Flyability. Primary usage is to getting into tight spaces, looking at things that just you can't access very easily, either down a hole, up on a high-walled abutment, the piers, the bearings. The biggest challenge for a large bridge is just the access, so getting to the places that we need to be in order to inspect. For a normal inspection, we would be using a snooper to access it. A snooper truck is an underbridge inspection vehicle. We have to close a lane typically if we're using a snooper and that causes traffic impacts. It also increases safety risks for inspectors. The cost of a snooper can range anywhere from $500,000 to about a about million dollars. The inspection drones uh, probably are right around the twenty-five dollars or $30,000 range. Pretty dramatic difference and Anytime we can close lanes um, less, then we're improving the safety of the public and the inspectors. And we know we can't replace most of the snooper use, but if we have an inspection where we normally use a snooper for five days and we can cut that to four days, that's still a success. So rope access is another method that we can use to access the bridge. We can just tie off from the top and rappel down on the bridge and take our notes that way. Yeah, this is definitely can be a hard day's worth of work. You can climb for um, six to ten hours a day, and it's very uh, physically exhausting. Yeah, and the, with the with the rappelling, we actually get a lot more exercise. So that's maybe one of the downsides is we don't get a lot of exercise this way. A drone inspection cannot replace an in-depth inspection. Drones will be another tool in our toolbox to help us perform inspections efficiently and effectively. The next phases of this research project are to identify where specific types of drones might be more effective and which types of bridges they would be most effective on so we can develop more of a statewide plan for usage of drones in bridge inspection. Since it's new, everybody wants to come out and see it. So, um, Especially at the beginning, it was like not only were we trying to figure it out, we have always had an audience, which was um, just made it more uh, challenging. I think it's a technology that's emerging in many different areas, not just bridge inspections. And so it's kind of exciting for people to look at and be a part of. And I think if we use it effectively, you know, we can show that we're using the public money effectively and efficiently performing these inspections and managing our bridges accordingly. Mm -hmm.